happy Tuesday. Oh. It is Tuesday the 21st. As soon as I got my tripod out and put my camera over there set up, Mickey has been bringing toys to me. <laughs> he's bringing toys. Oh my goodness, he always knows. I told you guys he's so smart. He knows everything. Um, he knows exactly what I'm doing and what's going on all the time. Yes, he does. So, um, I wanted to jump on today to kind of give an update of what's been going on here since I haven't had a video. Um, oh my goodness, it's been what? Over a week, I think? Um, so what's been going on with Mr. Grant? If you don't follow our community page here on YouTube or my Facebook page, you may not know that Grant, um, I think it was last week, Monday. I think that's when we had to take him back to the vet because that weekend he started having diarrhea again. Um, so we took him into the vet and we decided after a long conversation with our vet, talking about everything um, that's been going on with him, including the cognitive, a canine cognitive dysfunction, I believe it's called. We believe he has um, talked about everything. We decided to put him back on the Metro Nidazole. I'll tape it right here on the screen. I can't remember exactly how to pronounce it. Put him back on the antibiotic he was on when we first found out he had pancreatitis. So we put him on for two weeks and she also prescribed him gabapentin. Um, also, to give him the Forta, Flo Forta Flora in his food once a day. Also add pumpkin, canned pure pumpkin into his food. I also give um, all the boys, sometimes I'll cut up an apple and they share an apple that's got fiber as well. Um, and so far, it's been doing great. Um, he's got a lot of his energy back. I mean, he's almost 15, he'll be 15 March 3rd. So he doesn't have a ton of energy, but he's, you can just tell he's gotten his a little bit of energy back. He's doing his little hippity hoppity kind of run a little bit every now and then in the backyard. Um, he's going up and down the stairs by himself again. We were having to carry him out to the yard to go potty. Um, and he couldn't get, he didn't have enough strength to get back up the couple of steps to the deck. Um, He's been, when I let him out of his crate in the morning and he knows it's breakfast time, he's been jumpy and jumping on the back of my legs to kind of push me to the kitchen. Um, so he's got a, a lot of his energy back um, in the past couple days. So that is good. But of course, um, we'll have to wait until he's off all these medications, which I think he has about six days left, I believe, of his medication. Um, so we'll see what happens once he's off that, um, because that's when he started, when he was off his medications last time. They only prescribed him five days worth uh, last time. That's when he started having the diarrhea um, and different things again. I also purchased, after joining a Dogs with Pancreatitis Facebook group, um, and a couple of you messaged me this product, I also purchased uh, something called Gastro Gastro Elm Plus. It's a powder. You mix it with water and you put a little bit. I've been putting it in as food. You can just put it in a syringe and put it straight, uh, put it in the mouth and have him take it that way. But I've just been adding it into his breakfast and dinner. Um, and I think that's helping a lot too. Yes, I do. Um, so, um, yeah, and I'm going to continue the pumpkin. The Fortiflora, which when I go take Milo, I have to ask her because she said that maybe I should use, if I'm going to give it to him long term, I should use the Fortiflora SA. I don't know what the difference is, so I need to ask her about that. And I can't seem to find it on Chewy or Amazon, so I don't know if it's something I might have to get from the vet's office or what. So I've got to talk to her about that today when I uh, take Milo in. Um, so I'm going to continue that. I'm going to continue the pumpkin. I'm going to continue the gastro on plus as a maintenance. Um, and hopefully everything stays good with his system. Um, we will see. So continue to pray for Grant. Miggy, he's just, he's been doing great. Right, Miggy? Right? What do you got now? You got your frisbee? You got your frisbee? Yes. <laughs> Miggy has been doing great. Uh, didn't take him too long to get over his pancreatitis. Um, he's 
back to normal, being mouthy, wanting to play fetch, playing with the boys. Um, yeah, he's been doing wonderful. So, um, get it. <laughs> he's doing good. Hopefully, now that I've changed some things, and I really don't want to go into what I've changed about their diets and what I'm doing in this video. Um, but now that I've changed some things, like I said, I'm not giving them manufactured treats anymore. Um, hopefully, everyone stays good because we all know if you own a schnauzer or you've been watching this channel for a long time that schnauzers are very, very prone to pancreatitis. Um, I mean, Miggy is going to be, how old is he going to be this year? 10? Um, he's never had a problem and it just, I didn't change anything in their diets. I've been feeding them low fat, but something just triggered it. So I don't know if something somehow was on the ground and he ate something. Um, we're very careful. Um, nobody gets people food unless I give them like a piece of apple or green bean or something like that. Um, did something get dropped on the floor and we didn't know and he ate it? I don't know. Um, but the littlest thing can cause a pink pancreatitis attack. So, um, I know a lot of people will message me or comment and say, Oh, my dog's never had a problem. Miggy's never had a problem before either. Uh, so, um, it can sneak up on you. Um, what else? Oh, Mozzie got his, three month blood work done for his, um, he has hepatitis of the liver, Cushing's disease, also had his gallbladder out. He has some high protein in the urine. Um, so he got all that checked. Um, was it last week on Monday too? Yeah, I had Mozzie at the vet in the morning and then I had to take Grant to the vet in the afternoon. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so he went last week on Monday. And so his blood work was good. She said it's looked the best it has in a long time. But his protein in his urine, which we believe is caused because of, I believe it's caused because of his Cushing disease. I'm not totally for sure. Um, his protein was up a little a little higher. So she wants me to give him, he takes Benazapril for that. So he takes a five milligram pill in the morning. He's supposed to take it once a day. She wants me to add giving him a half tablet at night as well. So he has to go back in in four to six weeks to, I don't know if you, yeah, I think you can see him right here. <laughs> Got his paws all stretched out in front of him. Um, so after giving him that extra half pill in the evening, I need to schedule him, him an appointment for uh, four to six weeks to have his urine rechecked to see if that is helping. Um, so I was happy about the blood work. Not too happy about the protein being a little higher, but hopefully adding that extra half, half tablet will help. Um, but he's doing good. And then he'll have to go in another three months again for um, full blood work, um, just because of all of his issues um, that he has. He needs to get blood work done every three months. So, um, and Mazi's gonna be 12 this year in November, so. He's an older pup, so we got to keep a close eye on him and make sure everything is going well. Um, what else has been going on? I think that's about it. I did have to get Grant a pen, a doggy play pen. I don't know if you can see it back here. Um, I guess with canine cognitive dysfunction, I joined a group for that too on Facebook. You can get a lot of information on Facebook groups uh, dedicated to certain issues your pets are going through because a lot just to hear what's helped um, others' pets and what they're going through. And from what I've read and what I've read also online and what our vet told us that they can have problems sleeping at night, which Grant has. He was having me up almost three to four times in the middle of the night, um, which has gotten a little bit better. I've tried a couple different things, but I ended up getting him a doggy playpen for out here, um, small enough so we still have space to get through here. Um, and the kitties can still get to their kitty trees, which you can see there in the background. Um, I was using gates, but the kitten couldn't get in there. He's meowing. He wanted in the cat tree to sleep. And so I bought him this doggy playpen, bought him a orthopedic bed for in there. Also bought a washable pee pad in case of any accidents. But um, I usually get up with him once in the night. He usually gets up about three or four o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> and I let him out, make sure he does his business. 
and then I put him in the, because he'll fall asleep in his crate, which is right next to my bed. Um, this is why I had to get this playpen because his bed is right next to my bed. And when I put him back to bed, um, after getting up in the middle of the night, he would just run into the crate. He wanted out of the crate. He wanted to be up, excuse me. And, um, I couldn't get any sleep, uh, no sleep at all. <laughs> so what I do is when we get up at three, four in the morning, I put him in the crate or the doggy playpen. And he has room to do his pacing, which you guys know he paces, and it's due to the cognitive dysfunction. Um, he can do his pacing and move around, and he's got a bed in there if he gets tired and go back to sleep. So um, I just put him in there, uh, go back to bed for another oh. hopefully couple hours, get up, and um, get him back out. Sometimes I find him still awake pacing. Sometimes he's back to sleep. Um, but... That way he's totally safe because um, I know a lot of people say, why don't you just let him roam around the house? Well, the problem with that is with his cognitive dysfunction, he will get stuck in corners. Like he'll walk into a corner and then he, he just stands there and stares like he don't know how to get out of the corner. Or one time he was in the main bathroom back here and he didn't know how to get out of the bathroom. So I know he's safe in this doggy playpen. Um, when I'm trying to get a couple more hours of sleep. Um, and it has helped because I was up so much in the middle of the night with him that I was sleeping almost my whole, I'd go back to bed about 11 after I'd get them fe everybody fed, get all the pills dished out, um, have them outside a couple times, clean up the yard. I was exhausted from being up all night and I'd go back to bed at 11 and I wouldn't be back up until like two o'clock um, because then he would sleep from the gabapentin having that in the morning so i'd have to sleep when he was sleeping during the day to catch up on sleep i lost in the middle of the night and that's just not that'll get me sick i need my sleep so um, oh. the playpen has been helping wonderful with that wonderful and i bought the washable pee pad just in case he has an accident he has not had an accident at all but just in case it helps protect the floor um and i can just rinse it off and throw it in the washing machine and clean it. So, um, it's been a lifesaver <laughs> for me for getting sleep. Um, but like I said, he's been doing a little bit better, usually only getting up once now in the middle of the night. And so he was, it was two to three times. Um, so, all right, I think I've caught everybody up on what's been going on the past week or so. It's been a <laughs> rough fast three to four weeks. I don't even remember when all this started, when he got his pancreatitis. I think it's been about three weeks. Um, yeah, it's just been crazy. Um, I thought this year after the December I had would hopefully calm down a little bit. Um, but no, it's just, it's just keeping on going, keeping on going with everything. Keeping up. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Now Milo with his ear, but I'm thinking that's going to be, he'll, they'll probably give me some kind of ear wash or something um, that I'll have to do in his ear. I, I don't think it's anything serious. Um, so, got to go there today. So, thanks so much again to whoever uh, put a credit on our account at our vet's office. It made it so much um, less stressful knowing I had to take him to the vet today to get checked out because... Things have been very tight lately. As we all know, the economy is crazy. My husband owns his own real estate business. And it, even though business is still going on, uh, the higher interest rates and how tight everybody is with their money right now, um, things have been a little slower. So all your guys' donations have helped uh, take the stress of that off of us for a little bit. So I thank you so much. I mean, Mozzie's blood work um, ended up costing me over $600. I couldn't believe it. They told me they forgot to bill me for something, his last appointment. That was totally unexpected. So your guys' donations helped with that a little bit too. So I am extremely, extremely grateful for your guys' help. So I thank you guys for the birthday wishes, for everybody who sent cards and gifts. Um, I tried to get all everybody a thank you card back. So 
Hopefully you've gotten it or you'll, re you'll receive it soon. The boys thank you very much um, for all your help for them. Um, like I said, don't forget, I know a lot of people like to send gifts for the boys and Grant's birthday is coming up and so is Max's, but please don't send dog treats because I cannot give them um, manufactured dog treats anymore. They've got to have green beans, pieces of apple, um, I've been making them, I've been boiling do, uh, extra lean turkey meat, making like little meatball treats for them. So I appreciate you guys, your thoughtfulness and wanting to send them treats, but I just can't give them to them anymore. Um, Grant will not play with toys. Uh, so um, if you're thinking about sending Grant a toy, he just, he's not interested anymore. He used to be slightly interested. Max doesn't like toys either really. <laughs> He'll bark when I want to kick when I kick the ball from Miggy, but he doesn't he doesn't want to play with it. Um, so yeah, Max doesn't like toys really either. So um, so if you want to send them a gift, all I can think of is maybe a I don't even know I don't even know what to suggest for you guys. They love their doggy beds. Yes, they do. If you find a comfy doggy bed or something, you could send that. Uh, but. Yeah, Max and, and Mr. Grant just don't play with toys. Uh, so, um, just a birthday card. Just a birthday card and maybe a picture of your pet would be great for their birthdays. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. I've got to get Milo's harness out, his leash, get his face brushed so he can get to the vet here. i got to leave in about 30 minutes. And in our next video, I'll update you and let you know what's going on with his ear. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.